let us look at one more example based on finding out the minimum value of the given trigonometric equation and this question also belongs to one of the earlier SSE CGL exams it says find the minimum value of sine square theta plus cos square theta plus tan square theta plus cot square theta plus secant square theta plus cosecant square theta so looks like simple right all the six trigonometric ratios have been given uh, you know the sum of all these uh, trigonometric ratios and you need to find out the minimum value now that we have uh, learned a process of finding out the minimum value using the concept of arithmetic mean being greater than or equal to geometric mean let's uh, solve this question using the similar method now if you look at it the given equation sine square theta plus cos square theta plus tan square theta plus cot square theta plus secant square theta now secant square theta can be expressed as 1 plus tan square theta right this can be taken as 1 plus tan square theta and cosecant square theta can be taken as 1 plus cot square theta all right now let us try to find out the minimum value here sine square theta plus cos square theta is fixed this is one then we have one and one right plus one and plus one plus what is left out tan square theta plus tan square theta that is two tan square theta plus cot square theta plus cot square theta is two cot square theta all right so sine square theta plus cos square theta is one then we have plus one and plus one taken here left out terms are tan square theta plus tan square theta 2 tan square theta and cot square theta plus cot square theta is 2 cot square theta so this is equal to 3 plus 2 tan square theta plus 2 cot square theta now going by the method that we have learned right you look at the two uh, trigonometric ratios here they are reciprocals tan and cot reciprocals of uh, no they are reciprocals to each other now what will be the minimum value for this uh, term here this is like a trigonometric a into trigonometric function plus b into the reciprocal of that trigonometric function we know that the minimum value for this part will be two times of root a b right so this can be taken as three plus the minimum value for this part will be two times of root a b that is two into two right a is equal to two b also is two so three plus root two into root two sorry root over 2 into 2 is root 4 root 4 is equal to 2 so 3 plus 2 into 2 which is equal to 7 so the minimum value for this equation here which involves all the different uh, trigonometric functions or all the different trigonometric ratios is equal to 7 which is option d here so looks to be a complicated one but very easy to answer if you have followed uh, the logic of arithmetic mean greater than or equal to the geometric mean